breaking news tonight from USD 480. Technology is an, <laughs> an important part of the classroom. In that spirit, technology for the upcoming new schools was a dominant topic at the most recent meeting of the USD number 480. School Board Monday night, the first of these technology centered agenda items, saw the district approve an order of projectors and document cameras from Engaging Technologies for a total of $2,204 by a margin of 5 0 with board members Nick Hatcher and Delvin Kinzer absent from the meeting. <laughs> the cost includes a MIMO 320i interactive projector, $149,500, a MIMO View 340H document camera, $44,900, 19.5 for installation, five grand for training staff, and $5,745 for shipping. Funding will come from a bomb project, uh, FFE. What we are going to do is keep the LED projectors and use those and replace those in the high school, Cottonwood, Sunflower, South Lawn. Those that don't need LED projectors and get rid of the old projectors cameras. Director of Business Jerry Clay said in a response to a question from board member Steve Helm, the cameras work. It's just right now to replace the bulbs. We're spending four to five hundred dollars <coughs> excuse me, every time one of those goes out. The calibration, I think, is huge. And then the train is another thing. Board member Travis Combs added. They're great if they're in the classroom, but if the teachers don't know how to use it, use them, it's useless. The district also improved the purchase of a new laptop docking station for sixth grade classes at Eisenhower and Prairie View, and Prairie View staff. This, this will bring the total number of docking stations to 61. The board approved a quote from two trees for $8,873 for those stations by a margin of 4 to 1 with Helm voting no and Hatcher and Kinzer absent. Funding for this will also come from the bond projects FFE. Continuing with the technology discussion, the board also approved a request to replace switches for the 2005-2016 E-rate funds by a margin of 5-0 with Hatcher and Kinzer absent. These switches will be, need, will be needed to be installed before McDermott Elementary School, West Middle School, and MacArthur Elementary schools close. Once those schools are closed, the district can move the switches to other locations and will pay the full bill pending putting in the order along with approval of the E-rate. The total switch count for those buildings will be WMS 9, MacArthur 2, and McDermott 2. The district will receive an E-rate discount check. Double check. The <laughs> The total cost for this project is $77,669.80, including shipping. And funding will come, come from the capital outlay. The district will also need to purchase switches for Prairie View and Eisenhower for the 2016-2017 school year with McDermott, McDermott West and MacArthur closing. The district will be able to move the switches installed during this school year to the new schools. There will be a total of 18 switches needed, which will cost $129,499. There will also be three communication closets at each of the new schools, and each closet will need connection components for the fiber and, sw and the switches. The total cost for this equipment is $44,377.20. Funding will come from the Project Bond FFE and the board approved the purchase of 18 Cisco 3850 switches and connection components, including shipping from AOS for $175,615 by a margin of 5 0 with Hatcher and Kinzer absent. In Prairie View and Eisenhower, there will be three communication closets per building, and each will require racks and battery backups for the approved technology switches. Funding will come from the bond project FFE and the board approved with the purchase of these racks and battery backups from AOS for $26,834 by a margin of 5-0 with Hatcher and Kinzer absent. The technology policies and BYOD user agreements were also approved by a margin of 5-0 with Hatcher and Kinzer absent. 
The policies along with BYOD user agreements were reviewed by the Technology and Policy Revision Committees and Local Council and Legal Council.